Hello everyone, today we are going to see data store preference on Android. We have already used shared preference but now shared preference is deprecated in new versions. So in this tutorial we are going to see why shared preference is deprecated, what is data store preference and how to use data store preference on Android. So watch the video till end. If you like our tutorial then subscribe to our channel and do support. So let's begin. Now if you don't know what is shared preference then we have already created that tutorial. Link is given in the description box. First let's see what is the drawback of shared preference. Shared preference perform on disk IO operation. So sometimes we get the error that app not responding because the file of shared preference get too larger and in the set preference there is the no mechanism for singling errors. Now let's see what is the data store preference and why we have to use data store preference in our application. Now data store preference is new and improvement storage solution to replace set preference. Now it built on coroutine and flow. Now if you don't know what is coroutine and what is flow in Kotlin then comment below I will make the tutorial on it. Now data store preference have error handling mechanism and it does not perform task on UI thread. So these are the main advantage of data store preference in Android. Now let's move to our Android studio and see how to create data store and how to store data on it. Now here I have already created one activity with some edit text and the button. In this tutorial we are not covering the design part. Now if we want to use data store in Android first we have to write some dependencies. So these are the dependencies that we have to implement to use data store. You can find this dependency in the description box. So here I have already created the object of buttons and edit text and I have already bind it with the objects. So let's see how to store value in data store and how to create data store. First we have to create one object for data store. So write private litint where data store colon data store and here we have to pass the preference. Make sure you will pass the preference of data store. Now we have to create the data store. So write data store equal to create data store and here we can pass bunch of argument. But as of now we will create the basic data store. So here we have to pass the name of data store. So we are passing dream developers. We can also migrate shared preference to data store using this method. And if you are using this data store in other file then you have to pass context here. Now we have created the data store. Now let's create two functions for storing data and retrieving data from the data store. So we will write private suspend fun save data and here we will pass the key as a string and we will pass the value as a string. Now data store also store the value in the pair of key and value as a cell preference. Now we have to generate the key preference. So write val data store key equal to preference key and here we will pass the type as a string and here we have to pass the key. So our key is stored in this data store key variable. Now we have to store the data. So write data store dot edit and here we have to write the data store name. So I am writing dream developers and we have to store the values. So write dream developers and in this bracket we have to pass the key. So our key is stored in this data store key. 
and we will simply give the value so our value is saved in the data store preference now let's create the function for read the data let's copy this function and paste it below and we will change the name as read data in this function we have to only pass the key because it will return the value we will remove this part and here we will create the object of preference so write preference equal to data store dot data and we have to call the first function so we have created the preference object now below this we will return our data so write preference and in this bracket we have to pass our key so our key is stored in data store key so this will return the value which is stored in this data store preference i hope you understand this both the function now let's use this function and store the data so when user click on save button we have to store the data so in this bracket we will launch the another scope and store the data to our data store now if you don't know what is life cycle scope and what is coroutine in kotlin then comment below i will make the tutorial series on it now here we will call save data function and in this bracket we have to pass the key first so we will write edit text key dot text dot to string and below this we will pass the value so edit text dot text dot to string so our data is saved in the data store now let's retrieve the data and display it so when we click on the read button we have to read the data so life cycle scope dot launch and we will retrieve the value so write val value equal to read data and here we have to pass the key which is stored in edit text read key dot text dot to string so this function return the value now let's display this value so write text view read value dot text equal to value now if this return null then we will display no data found so i hope you understand this logic now let's run the application and see the output if you have any query dm us on instagram or comment below so we can see our app is running now let's enter the key so here i am entering hello as a key and we will write the value as hi dream developers and click on the save button so our data is saved now let's retrieve this data so our key is hello so i am entering hello and click on the read button so we can see our data is retrieved now let's enter another key and click on the read button so it will show data is not found so i hope you understand this data store preference thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe stay tuned